G'day everyone, BH and Dad here. We're gonna do the unboxing and first impression of this Dell C2722 DE monitor. It's a 27 inch video conferencing monitor with a hub and it is part of their new 2021 collaboration series monitors. Uh, traditionally, those are usually 40 inch plus monitors, but now they're in 2021, they've actually brought out a 24, a 27, and a 34 inch monitor. Now, this one here is the 27 inch monitor. Now, I have unboxed the 24 inch in a, a previous video. If you haven't checked that video out, I'll put it in the link in the description below, but I'm just gonna do the unboxing and first impression on this 27 inch version of it. Now, I will be creating a follow-up video of this monitor after I spent some time with it so I can actually give you much more better results uh, but so this is just the unboxing anyway now if you're joining me for the very first time <laughs> welcome to my channel and as always let's get on the unboxing and I've got my good old trusty knife here so let's bring that one out there and let's switch this around give it a nice little thing again away from the body which is nice sweet cut there I'll just put that away down this side here. Now, I'm just gonna switch this one down to make it easier for you guys. So I'm just gonna bring this out. Now, let's see what's in the box. Now, this is quite a large box at the moment here. I can't wait to really do the 34 inch. So we've got some documentation here. As always, we don't need that. So what kind of cables we've got? Okay, we've got over here, we've got, I'm just gonna bring this thing out. We've got a USB-C to USB-C cable. Now, this one is to connect from the monitor to your laptop or your device and this is around about 1.8 meters so that's the standard so I really like the standard size here for uh, cable for connecting from the monitor to the computer that's really good normally that is quite large but for docking stations they're usually very short so this is going to also replace a docking station as well if you need for it so it's actually very well priced I've got to say for these things here now let's have that so we'll just put this one aside and then we've got another one here, which is a display port to display port. Again, this will be 1.8 meters, it's pretty standard here. I'll leave it there, I'm not gonna use that in a moment. And then we've got a USB 3.0 Gen 1 upstream cable here. I don't really need that. Oh, so while I'm at it, the reason why you get the display cable here is because you can actually hook up to another monitor if you want to. Uh, so you can actually daisy chain it, that's the reason for it, so just so you know. And we've got the power cable, I won't need that at the moment because I've got another one lying around here. And let's get on to it. So, what else has got here? We've got some boxes, okay, that's just telling me to lift, actually there's a little box in there, I'll just a quick, no, nothing in there. So, alright, let's have a look at the base. Oh, actually this base is a lot heavier than the 24 inch. It's got some weight to it, but it does have to counteract the other one. So we've got a nice weird, I don't know, put a comment below what kind of shape this is. Uh, rhombus, I don't know, trapezoids, I have absolutely no idea. But it's got a bit of weight there for sure. And again, at the back here, we've actually got a screw and it's got a nice little, le little lever where you can actually twist. You'll see me do that in a moment to actually tie on the stand part of it. So I'm just going to pop it down here for me. Alright, we don't need this rubbish here. Okay, let's move this out of the way. I'm just going to chuck this down this side. Alright, and then we've got, oh, we've got the stand. The stand component part of it. Alright, we don't need that one down there. And again, very nice slim form here. And then of course you've got some cable management down at the bottom for the holes down here, which is really nice. Got a nice little Dell logo down here as well too. I can see that. And I can see straight away we've got the prongs so I can, I'll show you how to put this in together. So I'm just gonna pop this down here. And let's swap it around there. Give it a nice couple of turns to screw this in and hold it in place. Nice work, done. All right, now I'm just gonna have you just flip this to show you to what we're gonna do. So I'm just gonna pop this down. This is how I normally do unbox monitors. I usually on the other way there. So you can see there's actually already got this pretty nicely eased down here. We'll just put that and then we'll grab the stand. And I can also, while I'm at it, I might just show this to you before I put the stand onto this, is I can straight away see down here that the, it is Visa compatible mount which is good so you can actually put it on monitor arms or wall mounts if you want to so that's good to see that that's there and again well actually before i do do that let's have a look at the ports because i've got this up here i'm just gonna quickly just bring this up here so i can actually have a look at so on the bottom at the bottom here so we've got the power cable we've got the hmi full size hmi cable we have a uh, full size display port out and then we've got the USB-C 
port. Now this is the one you actually plug into the computer or your device. So this will also give you power delivery as well. Then we got a display port in, and then you have the USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, and you got two of those ones there. And then we got the ethernet port as well for your RJ45. So this is how I normally assemble my monitors. So I'm just gonna grab the monitor there, find the two prongs at the top there, slip it down, and then click it in. That's done. And then I'll just lift the whole entire monitor out, as you can see. Therefore, I'm actually not touching any part of the panel where you can actually put some pressure and you could actually get some big pixels by accident by that in the way. So I'm just gonna pop this one down on the floor so I could just make some room here. All right. And now let's kind of bring this one out here. I'm wrap that one there. Now I'm gonna take this one up here. This little wrapping here. Ooh. Ah, there we go. Awesome. Okay, now this straight away, I can see that it's got a bit of a matte feel to the screen. It's actually quite a nice matte feel to it. And we've actually got a very nice sort of big speakers down at the bottom here for not nice speaker bar anyway that's what i can call it you know speaker bar down this side so i'm going to try and get this off the light for you guys there but we've got a nice speaker bar down here and then we've got your ms teams buttons down here now these are certificate to MS Teams, it's actually the world's first monitor that is certificate to MS Teams, hence why we actually got the MS Teams. And we'll test a little bit la later on in this video here as well. Now, of course, now this is a video conferencing uh, monitor, and then we just top up the, that's webcam up in the top there. Now, it is a 1080p webcam, fantastic to see that they actually put a 1080p webcam, no, a 720p webcam. They actually finally listened to us to put a 1080p webcam on there, which is absolutely great to see in a way, so that's good. Now, while we're at it, I'm just gonna quickly show you, we're gonna have the movement of this mantra. So we've got your swivel, quite nice amount of swivel there. And then we've got your tilt, we've got quite a bit of tilt on up on down not so much there and then of course you've got the rotation but this one i've got to bring this up and there we are we're just going to rotate for those people who want to work this monitor on a portrait mode there all right and then i'm just going to try and fit that back down and of course it's height adjustment so that's the maximum height and then we'll go at the lowest height here i'll measure that in my review video of course there so we're just going to bring this up to the maximum height there and we're going to connect the cables up and then we'll connect this computer oh actually before we do that i'll just show you down at the bottom here we've also got more ports down at the bottom i'm just going to browse so we've got the a usb c port and then we've got the headphone jack and then we've got another usb 3.2 gen 1 port which is a type usb type a port there which is good to see to actually have some extra ports on the bottom there so you can easily access which is good it's not at the back it's actually on the bottom it's kind of nice i think i think it's a great idea to actually have it on the bottom or on the side one of the two where you can actually access bottom is better because uh, compared to the side is because if you've got a dual screen there you pretty much more than likely won't be able to access that so having it on the bottom is smart thinking finally from Dell to actually place those ports at the bottom of this monitor so anyway let's let's plug this in here we go I'm actually going to just do this very quickly and just connect this up so I'm going to have this point towards me the actual computer uh, and I'll just plug into my Thunderbolt port here now the computer can support up to 90 watts of power delivery so it can charge your laptop now if your laptop has a graphics card or something a little bit higher that actually requires more than 90 watts then you still need to actually plug in your power adapter that's supplied with your laptop but if your computer doesn't require that much amount of power most of the business laptops doesn't require that much amount of power you'll find I'm just gonna turn this thing on. Oh, good idea for me to actually turn this monitor on. Now, to turn the button on, it's actually around the back here. I'll just I'll just do a shortcut here. There is a button and under, around the right hand side of it, and you can just turn that on there. And they've actually got a joystick on the back there for the OSD as well too. So at the moment, I'm just gonna quickly switch this over to USB-C. So awesome, I've got USB-C going through here, and it's hopefully will come up, so. That will be very good. So I'm just gonna try and get this off the light for you guys anyway. So here we go. 
So I'll just quickly log in there. Now I've actually got MS Team currently on here and I'm actually gonna do a video conference with myself. So I'm grabbing my mobile phone because I've just set that up for myself as well too. So here we go. Now I actually was trying to try have a play with these buttons here. So they are touch sensitive buttons. Uh, you can just pretty much just touch that and that will work off here. So as you can see, there's a touch down here and then we've got the mute button for the microphone down here. Now you, there is a light at the bottom for each one you press, uh, especially for the microphone, it does go red light, which makes things really nice because you can then actually see visually that the microphones is actual uh, muted or not. And then actually what I'm really interested in is having, I'm going to close down Teams. Oh, I'll just close out Teams now. Now I'm going to bring that up. So that automatic that button will bring up teams automatically so that's what that one on the left now to do what the core does is it doesn't really do anything as per se but what I will do is I'm going to bring this down because I'd rather have this on through is I'm going to call this computer here with teams and let's see if we can actually answer that with maybe with that button on the bottom so here we go I'm just going to go and go into this sort of here so that's now I can see it's coming dry up so let's try and press the button what will it do? No, doesn't do anything, does it? No, doesn't answer it. So I haven't worked out. Let me just answer the phone here. So let's answer that. All right, so I'm going to mute myself here. There we go. So we've got ourselves mute. So let's have a look at, so I'm just going to point this down towards here anyway, so we don't actually have it anything really crazy good all right so here we go now what does this okay so that will actually t there's a green light down where the phone button is to tell you that you're actually making a call but you can't really do anything down here so mute unmute which is good all right, i'm just going to quickly pop this up just to have a look see if this does anything That button doesn't do really do anything there, so I'm just going to close that off here as well. So we've got nothing down here. So I have to really have a play with those buttons to actually find out what would happen with these buttons, especially that call button. I have to actually ask Dell what that button can do. Now this is a 1440p resolution 16 by 9 monitor, and it can only go up to 60 hertz. For refresh rate now this is a business monitor so 60 hertz is not uncommon i know there are a lot of monitors that can go up and above 60 hertz especially for gaming but for most of the business class laptops you will usually find that they're actually 60 hertz so that's pretty standard there and that's probably where they actually put all, a lot of our other money into other stuff here as well too so as i said you can actually plug in uh ethernet cable here and it will charge your computer the laptop uh, if it's requires under 90 watts of power, which is great. And of course you can daisy change this off to another dual screen as well. So I'll do that in the review video. So I'm just gonna have a quick test of the speakers very quickly for you guys to just have a look. Now I'm gonna have put it on a maximum volume just so you can actually see what this would sound like. And I've just got an EDM, so we're actually gonna have some bit of bass just to have a look at. So let's just give it a go. Hopefully that will come through to your speakers there. Not too bad in clarity for the sounds of the mids and highs. All right, just to give you a little bit of shoot there anyways, but as you can see, the bass is not crazy amount. It is most, pretty much gonna be using the mids to actually create those basses, what I feel for it. But this is a business one, so I don't expect to have crazy amount of bass. It is designed for video conferencing, so it's kind of more the mid to high hertz range there for you, for the speech in a way. So just to, you know, just to have a little bit of sound, we can actually hear it in a way. And I have tested this with a Mac on the 24 inch. Uh, if you haven't seen that, I'll put a link in the description below so you can see that 
that one actually connect to uh, MacBook Air with the M1 chip there. I'm not going to redo it here because it will be the exact same results for the 27 inch. Anyway, I hope you find this video informative or enjoyed it. If you did, smack that like button for me or even to support my channel, smack that like button for me. It does help me out. And of course, if you haven't done already, subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button bottom screen. I do try to upload a new video every week. And just remember, imperfections in life makes beautiful and interesting. I'll see you next video.